Our next step is to create a Mongo database that we can use to store and retrieve user information. Now, instead of creating the database locally, I will make use of MLab, which provides database as a service. Basically, this is where our database will be deployed. So go to mlab.com and create a new account. Click on sign up and enter your details. I'm going to be skipping this part as I already have an account. Now once you register though, you need to verify your email address before proceeding further. So check your inbox and verify the link. Once you verify your account, click on create new button which is adjacent to the MongoDB deployments. So on the right hand side, create new. I'm going to leave Amazon as the cloud provider. The plan type is going to be sandbox and then click on continue. The region I'm going to be selecting Europe and then clicking on continue. The final details, it prompts you for a database name. I'm going to call it events DB. Then click on continue and then submit order. You should now be able to see the list of databases that you have. So events DB is the one we just created. I'm going to select this database, scroll down under collections, scroll to the right and click on add collection. Now the collection name, I'm going to call it users and click on create. The last step is to add a user so that we can connect to the database from our application. So click on users, scroll to the right, add database user, and then fill in the details. I'm going to call the user as user Vishwas, password as password Vishwas, and click on create. So that completes the MongoDB setup. We created a database called EventsDB, a collection called users, and also added a user to the database. The next step is to set up the API endpoints for our application.